This first section covers loading and processing image files that do not need CCD function. The Helena sign cut machine supports loading and machining of image files directly without the need for third party CAM software. This includes DXF, PNG, JPEG, Adobe Illustrator, and many other formats. The process for image file loading is identical to NC file loading. Once loaded, the graphical interface will be automatically opened. The main tool pass parameters, including feed rate, tool number, thickness, and number of passes, are set in the layer interface. Different parameters can be set for individual layers. Different layers are assigned based on the set color of the selected geometry, and the active layer to be edited is selected here. The tool is set in this panel. The machining direction is set here. The feed rate is set here. There are more advanced features that allow the user to set custom depths, number of passes, ramping style, ramping speed, and the punch drilling function. The processing panel contains parameters for importing and processing DXF and other image files. These are advanced features and should be largely left untouched. However, as we are not using a CCD camera for this file, we need to disable this feature. Refer to the Helena SDR manual if you would like to know more about these parameters. Press Create File to generate and load the file for machining. The loaded file name will appear in the taskbar. We can now begin machining by pressing the Start button. Whenever adjustments are made to the graphic, the layer parameters, or the image processing parameters, it is important to press this button again to update the file. Part 2 covers everything to do with setting different layers. Currently, all the graphics are on the same red layer, and we cannot set different tool passes or other parameters for them. Start by selecting the geometry that you wish to put on a separate layer. Select a different color from the drawing panel in the left hand side of the screen. The circle is now on a separate layer to the square that is colored red. In the layer menu, we can now set a feed rate for the yellow layer that is separate to the red layer. Notice when we adjust one, it does not change the other. Sometimes we only want to machine one graphic of a larger image file or one line of a larger geometry. To isolate one segment of the geometry, select it and press Explode in the Edit menu. Select the sections you want to machine and put them on a new layer. In the layer menu, change the output function for all other layers to no. When the CNC file is run, the machine will ignore all of these layers. You can control the order in which graphics are machined, either by selected geometry or by layer. We will start with ordering by geometry. Select the order button in the drawing panel. A blue number will pop up next to the cursor. Click on the geometries in the order that they need to be machined in. Observe how a number has popped up at the starting point of each of these geometries. 
this number is the order that they will be machined in. Let's look at ordering by layer now. These two yellow circles are on a separate layer to the red square, and we want them to be machined first. Press the layer button, and in the layer window, select the yellow layer. Press move up to machine it first. Observe the new numbers next to the yellow circles and the red square. Thanks for watching video 3 of the Helena Sign Cut Machine and SDR Control System series. Next video, we will cover everything you need to know about the CCD functionality and setup. You're welcome to check out this machine on our website, link in the description. See you in the next video. Cheers.